I had never seen a picture of myself before the age of three and a half. For this Scarborough mother, life started here, the day in 1975, when Lee Small's family brought her home from Vietnam. I knew that I came from another mother. I knew that I came from a woman who gave me up out of love. Lee was one of 3,000 children evacuated as part of Operation Babylift during the fall of Saigon. Her mother dropping her off at an orphanage for fear communists would kill her. Born to a Vietnamese mother, Lee's biological father was an American soldier. Then, a few weeks ago, a routine check of her email turned into a family reunion. And I see Ancestry.com says you have a message. Lee had done one of those at-home DNA tests. Now a complete stranger had this message. My DNA says we're half-sisters. I believe we're sisters, and your Vietnamese mother has been looking for you. Her mother was looking for this little girl, Nui Thi Phong Mai. That little girl, Lee, who's now 47, never knew her mother had gone back. She came back, and it, the next day it was already too late. Never knowing where in America her daughter landed, Lee's mom never stopped searching until now. Within 24 hours of that DNA match, I'm really happy, you know, to, to contact with you. a conversation Lee's biological mother had been waiting for okay. for 44 years. And I don't believe that I can find you. Uh, the first thing she said was, you know, I, do you have a good life? Do you have a good life? And I said, yes, I had a wonderful life. You know, I wrote a letter to... We were there for just the third time Nguyen, Tai Depp, and Small got to see each other. Since that day, they said goodbye. She's my daughter. I love her. I let her go because I, I want to save her life, you know? Nguyen, now 70, says once that plane left, there was no turning back. And over the years, over the decades, all she wanted to know was her daughter was okay. I just want to, to know if my daughter is alive and have a happy, happy life. life, you know? For mom, it's a reunion with her child. And for daughter, it's a connection to her past. There was a life there. There was a family there. There was love there. It, kind of the pain in her face just... A family now reunited. The photos, the memories of a life forgotten by one, but so treasured by another. When you see that child, you think about how hard that decision was for her. Before we hung up, she, she said, I want you to know one thing, that I always loved you, and, um, you know, I, I don't want anything from you but to know you and love you. And most importantly, a love where no distance, no last-minute change of heart ever got in the way. I'm not sure that I've conveyed to her enough that I don't have any bad feelings at all. And I, I want to make sure that that's what she knows first and foremost. And I'm hoping that when I see her and she touches me and, and talks to me the first time, that she knows that you know there's nothing but love and respect for her. Lee and her family are going over to Vietnam next week. We'll let you know how the trip went when she gets home. I'm David Charns, WMTW News 8.